Turn on your mic, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Some of us represent dearly the people we represent, so in no way, and I want to assure members of this committee that this is some sort of hoax. We are here, Mr. DeJour, as you might imagine, because we've been hearing from the people who hire us, people who live across this country in our districts. And so for me, that's the people of Baltimore City, Baltimore County, and Howard County, Maryland. Just like all of my colleagues have others, I'm sure, who've complained. And I just want to keep this focus on the face of those people. These are senior citizens, like you and like me. They've worked hard. They're at a point in their life where they depend like they've always had, had depended on the mail. Some of them have high blood pressure. They wait for their medications. Others have heart trouble. They wait for their medications. These are citizens, men and women, who put on a uniform in various wars and conflicts and represented us and rely daily on the mail for their checks, their VA checks, for their medicines. These are small business people, like you used to be, and many of these members of the committee may have been, who watch their small business compete now, not being able to keep abreast of basic things that they rely on to come through the mail. And then they're just average citizens, somebody who wants to pay a bill because they don't believe in the internet and they believe in writing an old-fashioned check and then they're told by the company that they're being charged now with a late fee because it didn't arrive on time. So these are real, real stories. And when the mail slows down, it has a disparate impact on communities, and particularly on communities of color around this country. These changes, Mr. DeJoy, I assume are changes that you have vetted. I'm talking about the ones you've implemented with the Board of Governors. Is that correct? Uh, the change, the organizational change, and the uh, uh, requirement to, uh, 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 with the, in the initiative to have the trucks leave on time, are uh, uh, within my authority. But I had so I had discussed well, them. Briefly. Well, let me ask yeah. this: Major changes are required to have an advisory opinion. Is that correct before they're submitted to the Board of Governors? Uh, there's not a change like the major change. There is some, some uh, level of change that is we put closing plants and so forth. We need to go to the PRC. And do you, have, do you have analytics to sort of justify the changes that you've made? And if so, could you provide them at a later date to this committee? Um, we, uh, I, I need to get back to you on that. Okay. It's my understanding that the removal of mailboxes, whether it was 20 years ago, 30 years ago, or last week, require density studies. Is that still the case? I believe it is. Could you, could you supply to this committee the density studies for the last three months because there's been an accelerated removal of boxes, an accelerated removal of sorting machines, 671 to which you said earlier you would not put back online. And I'm, I'm, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I don't believe that Humpty Dumpty fell. I think he was pushed. And when I see these sort of things back up in such a way that we get your report, dated August 12th, that says, yes, there has been an 8% decrease in mail arriving on time, a 9% decrease in periodicals arriving on time, and a decrease in virtually all other classifications, it just makes some of us a little suspect, and I'm sure you would understand that. Let me ask you, are you familiar with the expedited to street afternoon sorting program? I am. It was introduced on the 25th of July. Mm -hmm. It affects 1,200 zip codes across the United States. Are you aware of that? Uh, I'm aware that it affected a lot of zip codes. Yeah. Are you aware that it shakes up longstanding procedures at the mail, uh, at the post office? Uh, I'm aware of what the process was and the, uh, whether it was longstanding procedures, uh, the, the, the intention of the, of the plan is to adjust for the de decrease in mail volume and get back on schedule. And that was a pilot. It wasn't a change. It was a pilot program to, make sh to marry up the delivery, the carrier delivery to, to, to homes and businesses uh, with the schedule that, uh, 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 of, of incoming mail from the, from the destination. Are, are you aware that the National Association of Letter Carriers filed an official grievance against uh, that program? Uh, I, I am, but I will tell you before that program, before that pilot went, went off, the, uh, uh, we uh, checked, we had a discussion with uh, 
the union leadership, and they were agree um, um, amenable to to rolling out the program. And and just before I yield back my time, sir, what would you say to those veterans, those senior citizens, those average Americans, and those small business people who have been disproportionately impacted in the last five or six weeks because of this slowdown? We, we are we are concerned about every delivery that is that is late, and we're working very very hard to get it back on track. Thank you, Madam Chair.